There is just something about this weather that makes you want to pick up a camera and make videos. Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna go over five of my most used or my most favorite accessories that I use for making content pretty much on a daily basis. So let's jump in with number one, and that's this little guy. Not the camera, the filter. This is the Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter. And essentially what this little guy does is it reduces highlights, it lowers contrast, it reduces wrinkles and blemishes, but not like those crazy Instagram filters and it creates a kind of a soft light. Now I know the terms cinematic and film look get thrown around YouTube quite a bit, and there is no magic bullet to achieving those looks, but something like this is definitely a step in the right direction because it can make your digital sensor look a little more filmic and less harsh. So let's have a look at some examples. Here is some sample footage I shot about a year ago. I've since made that video private because I really want to redo it and do it properly. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a full video on the Black Promise filter. Check out those blooming highlights though. This sample footage of Santa Monica Pier is from the Tiffin website. This particular one is a 43 millimeter in diameter and that goes for about 50 bucks or thereabouts. And they can range all the way up to like 150 bucks or something like that. So not crazy expensive. I think that's the most expensive accessory that I'm gonna mention today. So moving on to item number two. This is must have accessory number two. It's the ESDDI. 176 LED panel light with a dimmable switch on the back. This is its lowest setting right here. And it also comes with this hot shoe that allows you to snap it onto your camera like this and you can just tighten it in. This is perfect for somebody starting out shooting product photography. I always have it in my camera bag and it's gotten me out of so many sticky situations where I can just literally hold this over the cocktail that I'm shooting and it saved me having to bring all my big lights and stands it also comes with five of these colored gels that you can just slap into place like this. And on the back, it has one button which turns it on and off and it's also a dimmable switch. And it has this battery that snaps out and you can charge this independently. I have the charger on my charging wall behind me. For $23, this is a must have in your camera bag. Moving on to accessory number three. If you are someone who likes to go on hikes and photography walks, that kind of thing, this next accessory is a must have. This is the Peak Design Camera Clip. Definitely not the most exciting of accessories, but this thing is a lifesaver. It's essentially a dual plated clip that clips onto the strap of your backpack. And it's got this single plate that you put on the under end of your camera. And as you guessed it, it just snaps into place. And it's got this quick release button that allows you to release the camera at the drop of a hat. Super handy. I cycle quite a bit, so I don't want to have a camera swinging around my neck or constantly be reaching into my backpack to take out my camera if I want to like shoot video or take a picture. So this clip comes in clutch for someone like me. But again, not the most exciting of accessories, but once you have it, you will truly value this thing. This particular model is by Peak Design and it goes for about $70. Let's move on to accessory number four. Let's give it up for accessory number four. It's Salen's five in one bounce card or reflector, I guess you could call it. This is a 43 inch reflector that has five purposes. Let me open it up and show you. And uh, fair warning, this could kill someone when you open it. Yes. So here it is. As you can see, this is the black side and on the opposite side we have silver, which reflects the most amount of light. Let's use my face as a test subject. I got my key light shining on this side of my face. And if I use this black part of the bounce card, you can see it fills in shadows. So it takes away the light that's on this side of my face naturally. And then if I swap it over and use the silver side, it adds in more light and essentially eliminates the shadows. That goes for all of the colors that are in here. It has gold, let me show you, which adds a more warm tone to this side of my face. And on the opposite side of that, we have white, which is just, you know, you get it. And if I take off this covering completely, it has this, which is a diffuser. 
So yeah, I can add more diffusion to the key light that I'm using, which doesn't look great, but you know, it can come in pretty handy. So that is the Salins 5-in-1 bounce card or reflector. I think this goes for $35. So pretty compact when you roll it up like this. I mean, just fits in your bag. It's perfect. Moving on to accessory number five. Small rig tabletop mini tripod. This, in my opinion, is the best vlogging tripod. It's small, it's compact, it's made of steel, so it's really, really sturdy. A couple of my favorite features, it has this ball head that allows you to swivel it around and get the perfect angle. It also has this cutaway, so if you wanna shoot in portrait mode, you can just snap it down like this. It has this 360 rotation feature, which allows for shooting panoramic photography. It comes with a QR plate that you attach to your camera. And it even has a level on the side. Look at that. Oh, and the feet, these little red parts here, these are made out of rubber, so it gives you extra grip, which is just really a nice little touch. That is the Small Rig Tabletop Mini Tripod, and that goes for about $40, I think, on Amazon. Thereabouts. Let me know what some of your favorite accessories are. Drop them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. At the time of making this video, I think my channel is at around 800 or so subscribers, so I expect at least 800 comments when I wake up in the morning. That's, that's how this works, right? Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace. Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how I shot those.